this video, I think it's by Mort, yes, it's an animated video. Um, it's about 12 minutes long, almost, so this one's gonna be actually pretty entertaining to me, because like, I saw the, the, the thumbnail, and I was like, what the hell? So this is the dentist horror story, and I feel like going to the dentist itself is a horror story, so it's kind of like an actual horror story happening during the horror story in itself. It's kind of like, alright, you know, so it's just kind of scary, so I don't know, a pervert dentist, something, I don't know. I think the thumbnail was kind of like the girl trying to like get away or something, I don't know what the guy this pervert was doing. I, I, I have this thing up yet, like you don't see him yet until I start the video, but yeah. <laughs> You'll see him in a second, so be sure to subscribe, be sure to like this video, and be sure to turn on post notifications if you have not done so yet. And without further ado, ignore my cat meowing, I'm just gonna pick her up so she doesn't meow the whole 12 minutes or 11.45. <laughs> she loves me, I can't blame her, you know? A lot of people do, so I mean, can't blame her. Let's go. Do you remember as a kid? Where you imagine dentists as some kind of crazy psychos who enjoy hurting people? And how they wanted to rip out all of your teeth against your will? Well, we all know now that we were just overreacting kids back then. But it wasn't exactly false for me. When one day, my childhood nightmare became a reality. And this experience is something that has forever left a mark and a trauma on me. Me and my boyfriend back then moved in together and no wanted curtains. to start a new life in a new town. We both came from poor families with experiences of Don't alcohol abuses. So we couldn't afford much and we had to work really hard to sustain our needs. One evening, when I came back from work, my tooth started to hurt a lot. I tried to ignore it because I thought I was just tired and it would eventually go away after some time. You thought your tooth was sore because so you were tired. So I went to bed and fell asleep. All the windows are freaking wide. in the morning, the pain got worse. I told that to my boyfriend and he started to worry. We didn't have any insurance because we hardly even have money for our basic needs. So for us, this was a big problem. We started to search through the internet and local magazines for dental clinics, but most of them were very expensive and clearly we couldn't afford them. My condition was getting worse to the point that I couldn't even focus on my work most of the time. Desperately, I called to my parents. I begged them for help and asked to send us some money, but they refused. What? By now, you guys probably know what they were like, and that's the exact reason why I moved out from there. Uh. At the end of my shift, my boyfriend called me with some good news. He found a really cheap dentist in town, and he immediately made an appointment for yeah, me. Yeah, but if it's cheap, then I'm not He texted not be me good. the address you know, and told me to be good. there at exactly 7 p.m. tonight. I packed my things from work and went to the bus stop. When I arrived there, I went into the building and sat down on a chair next to the clinic room. I could hear two people talking inside the room, so I decided not to interrupt and wait for my turn. After 10 minutes, some lady just ran out of the room like she was in a hurry or something. She dropped her wallet on the floor, but before I noticed it, she was already gone. Meanwhile, the door opened again, and a pleasant man's voice invited me in. Man. I turn around and I could see a short middle-aged man with a big smile. I greeted him and told him about the lady and the wall that she dropped. He said, oh, don't worry. She was in a hurry for a bus. You can give me her wallet. Yeah, She's a close fine. friend of mine like, and I'll give it back to her. That, right? uh -huh. I gave him the wallet and brushed off the situation. For the next few minutes, we talked and filed all the necessary papers. I told him about my toothache. He seemed so nice and funny. Then he prepared his dental equipment and I sat down on the chair. And after that, and he has things no started to get weird. Who's that? He told me to open my mouth wide so that he could start the examination. I don't know why, but it felt like he was standing too close to me. Besides, Shouldn't dentists sit down on their chair while working too? Yes. Then, I felt a rubbing sensation on my arm. It 
was so weird. I thought it was his leg but later, I realized it wasn't. I thought he wasn't doing it on purpose so I tried to move my arm a bit but his body followed my arm. He tried to chat me up to distract me from whatever he was doing but I could feel everything. Then he stopped for some time but a few seconds later he just grabbed my arm and told me not to move that much. He was holding me really tight. I had enough. So I gathered my courage to tell him to stop, but he just sighed. Fortunately, a few seconds later, he released my arm. After this confrontation, he started to act harsh and rude. He seemed like he was offended and didn't want to smile anymore. Nothing really happened after that, until I finished my dental appointment where he told me to come back again for a follow-up treatment next week. After leaving, I felt so scared of him and didn't want to go back. I could see him looking through the window of his clinic with a really angry oh or God. disappointed face He's like he was mental. expecting something from me. I told what just happened to my boyfriend but he told me I was just overreacting and we couldn't afford any other dentist. Yeah, so so we have to go I should Carver, be grateful huh? that he found me a clinic that fits our budget. I knew that he wanted what's best for me but as I said, we were in a bad financial situation, so I couldn't complain and be picky in this time. I knew I had to go back there again, but at least he did his job and my tooth didn't hurt anymore. Fast forward to my second dental appointment. I was God. feeling so anxious right before the meeting, but unexpectedly, he greeted me with the same big smile as before. We chatted like... Nothing happened and he proceeded to the treatment very professionally. For now. Everything seemed to be okay while he was treating me. Yeah, and he's saying this time. This time, he sat on a chair and didn't do anything weird. In the middle of the operation, I was looking at him and he seemed nervous. We were sitting in silence for some time when, out of nowhere, he told me, Hey, I really like your body. You are just my type. It was so confusing and it felt so awkward. I couldn't even answer him with a fully open mouth, but I started to move my lips and replied, I appreciate your compliment. Then there was just dead silence. I started to look around the room and I noticed the wallet. I realized it was the same wallet that I gave him a week ago after some lady dropped it on her way out. Something was wrong with this guy. Clearly, my heart beat was pounding, and I started to sweat. Then he said, "Come to my apartment after the treatment, just for a tea." Yeah. Okay. I immediately knew what was going on, and I replied to him, "Um, thanks for the invite, but I have a boyfriend, and I respect him, so I don't want to hang out with some other men." Come on. I don't ask you to go to bed with me, mm. just for a tea. Yeah, he you won't just said find a, out. You just said I have a nice body. No, nothing. I refused away from. again, but he insisted. He was trying so hard to convince me that he was literally forcing me to agree. The worst thing was he was holding his dental drill and started to become violent with it. He started to push it harder and harder into my teeth. I couldn't see, but I knew something bad was going on and he was intentionally doing it to me. I could feel more and more pain while he was doing this. You will go with me, right? Just for a tea. Just for a tea, okay? Oh my god, he's mental. He was repeating mental. it over and over again. I stopped replying to him and now I was just looking for a way to escape. But I didn't want to hurt myself with all something. those dental equipment, so I just didn't move. I could feel he was drilling in my tooth harder and harder. It's I felt slimy. like crying from the that. pain, but I so didn't want to show him that I am an easy target. Oh, Finally, I said to him, Okay, I will go with you. His face instantly turned from angry to cheerful. He and just he made said, me. Sweet! With a big smile like nothing had happened. Then he stepped away from me to grab something from the table and I took my chance to hit them on yes. the end with any item next to my chair and I ran away from the clinic as fast as I can. 
I wasn't even trying to look behind me if he was chasing me or if he was still inside. I just want to escape from this crazy maniac. When I ran out of breath after a few blocks, I stopped to take some air. Fortunately, I couldn't spot him anywhere. Then I realized something was pouring out of my mouth. It was blood. He did something to me and I couldn't see how bad it was. I slowly placed my finger into my mouth and checked every tooth. I came across something that felt really weird. I counted all of them and realized that there was something quite missing. But then I realized, he just drilled my tooth deeper into my gums. I came back to my house and told everything in tears to my boyfriend. He drove me to the police station and I gave a statement. They directed us to the state dental clinic to check for damages. The damages were so bad that they had to remove my tooth. I couldn't take it anymore and burst it out into tears. It was so hard for me because we couldn't even afford an implant back then. Meanwhile, the police drove to that guy's clinic to take him to custody. He insisted that he was innocent. Okay. It was just a medical mistake and that I was crazy. He testified that I made it all up. If you want to know how it all ended, then here is the harsh reality. Unfortunately, the law system favors the rich people. And he was only fined a few thousands of punishment. Oh. I bet he had deals with the police too. He didn't go to jail nor was forced to close his dental clinic. I couldn't afford a good lawyer so I couldn't do much back then. And this crazy maniac is still seeing patients. I remember the name of the lady threw an ID from her wallet and asked the police about her. They told me that the lady was reported missing about a week ago. Oh my god. And nothing more. Up to this day, all I'm wondering is that what he did to that lady and how many more women did that maniac sexually harass and have physically hurt it over the course of his time operating the clinic. Yeah, but I, I don't get it. Like, he, he can't be the only dentist. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's... Like, I don't know if there's any cameras in a dental office. I don't, I don't know if there is actually. Is there? I don't, I don't remember my dentist. Like, if there's like a dent... Like, if there's like a, you know... If you can look and I, don't, I, I have no idea to be honest. I honestly don't have any idea. But like maybe the office does. I don't. I honestly don't know. I feel like they would or should, but like, who knows really? But like again, like it would not be just one dentist in a huge ass building. Like just probably like, like a few dentists. Like like my dentist office has like three dentists. I'm pretty sure like two or three people that are like in the desk area, or like one or two people like the front desk, kind of like checking you in and cashing you out. And then there's obviously a, 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 like the nurses to kind of like check your teeth, get your cleaning, and then the dentist checks, you know? So it's not just like one stupid dentist. That's just sus. That whole thing is sus. There's only one person in the whole damn building to cash you. No. It's not how it works. Like every, every dentist has like a few nurses, a few dentists, the people in the front. You know, like it's not, that's not, that's not normal. That's not normal at all. So I don't know what the fuck that. I'm just glad she escaped somehow, and I'm just glad that she's okay. I hope she got her teeth fixed and everything, and that, and that. The fucking bitch, I can't believe that he freaking didn't even test, like, go guilty or anything, and I'm fucking so angry about, about that. I'm so pissed. Stupid dentist. Dentist. Fucking dentist. Fucking asshole. That's gonna be it for this video. It was a pretty good one. Like, not for her, obviously, but it was pretty entertaining. I'm just really pissed that the guy didn't get caught or didn't get, you know, didn't have to pay for his stupid actions. Like, oh, nice body. You don't have to tell your boyfriend. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. I don't want your ugly, old-ass, fast bitch. Like, fuck you. That's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> Sorry for my little rant there, but yeah. It's just annoying me when people do that and then, then freaking get away with it. it. Fucking drives me insane. Okay, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.